Yo, what's going on guys? Colt Mush back at it with another video, and in this video, I want to talk about system requirements in PC games. Now, this is actually a very relevant topic because we all know about the Star Wars Battlefront requirements and how astronomically high they were. The game recommended 16 gigabytes of RAM, which I think was a first for a game. There may have been one or two other games that also recommended 16 gigabytes, but obviously it is a very select few amount of games that actually do recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM, and Star Wars Battlefront was one of them. Now, that wasn't the only thing really high about the recommendation requirements. The recommended GPU was an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 or an AMD R9 290, which are two pretty high-end video cards. The GTX 970 is about a $330 video card, and the R9 290, you can't really buy it new anymore, but when it was still available, it was like a $250 to a $270 video card. Now, this scared a lot of people off, because typically, when you look at recommended requirements, recommended usually means to run a game at 1080p at very high settings and get a good frame rate. A lot of people play games at 1080p, but a lot of people don't have a GTX 970. People with a video card like a GTX 960 or an R9 280 or an R9 380 were extremely scared being like, what the fuck? I only have 8 gigabytes of RAM. I only have a GTX 960. Can I even run Star Wars Battlefront at a decent setting? And just taking a look at the recommended system requirements, you would think, no, I can't. But obviously a lot of that ended up being bullshit. I myself have a GTX 970 and 8 gigabytes of RAM, so I was expecting I would be able to play the game pretty well at 1080p, but 1440p, I'd be dead at. Guys, I'm playing the game at 1440p just fine. Yeah, I'll get some frame rate hiccups, but it's nothing too bad. Sometimes I'll get a frame rate drop to around 40 in the very intensive sequences, but at 1440p, it's definitely playable. I don't have 16 gigabytes of RAM. I do have a GTX 970, but still. And then if I would play Star Wars Battlefront at 1080p, I'd be freaking golden, 60 FPS consistently. Maybe a dip here and there, but it was very minute, if anything. So obviously the game works just fine with 8 gigabytes of RAM, and the GTX 970 is killing the game at 1080p, and at 1440p, it performs just fine as well. So what the hell, really? You don't need 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's proven by my machine. I only have have 8 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 970 while that's going to give you really good performance at 1080p I probably wouldn't have listed that as the recommended video card a GTX 970 is playing the game pretty well at 1440p, so I don't know, something like an R9 280 or an R9 380 seemed more logical as a recommended video card. Also, keep in mind that Star Wars Battlefront is not the only game. A lot of games in recent memory have done this, even The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm extremely biased towards that game, but that game had exuberantly high system requirements. And yeah, if you did want to run Witcher 3 completely maxed out, you would need a very beefy rig. But when you look at minimum system requirements, and those minimum requirements are running the game at 1080p and high settings, at 40 frames per second, then that's not really logical. To me, minimum system requirements mean that's the bare bones minimum requirement you need to run a game. It's called minimum system requirements for a reason. Now, there are a couple problems with having minimum and recommended system requirements. I don't think minimum and recommended system requirements are enough. I think there should be three layers of system requirements. There should be minimum system requirements, recommended system requirements, and then ultra system requirements. Obviously, minimum would be the bare bones minimum requirements that you need. Recommended would be to play the game at 1080p at high settings and get a really solid frame rate, maybe not 60 lock, but a very good frame rate nonetheless. And the ultra requirements is the hardware that you need to play the game at 1440p, 60 FPS lock, completely maxed out, all that kind of jazz. A few games actually did have three layers of system requirements. Batman Arkham Knight was one of those games, but we all know how Batman Arkham Knight turned out, so I don't have to go too much deeper into that. But these system requirements in recent years, they've just been extremely misleading. When you show someone the Battlefront minimum requirements and they have a GTX 660 and they're like, man, I gotta play the game at the lowest settings. Well, no, you you really don't with the GTX 660. You can probably play the game at medium to high settings and still get a variable 30 to 60 frames per second. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. But yeah, it seems like this is a common occurrence with a ton of AAA games. I don't know if it's some way where the AAA developers can just cover their asses and say, well, we had our system requirements really high. It's not our fault. You can't run the game. Or if it's a way to pump up how graphically good the game is going to look. I don't know what it is. I'm sure there's some reasoning behind it. I'm sure it's not that difficult to make the three-layered system that I talked about as developers have done before. Four. But who knows at this point, I would like to see developers do the three-layered system like I talked with more games. I would like to see that with Battlefront. I'd like to see that with even games like Call of Duty. I'd like to see that for all PC games. I don't know why it's not being done. I don't think it's that hard for these big developers to test out multiple hardware rigs. But who knows? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys are playing Star Wars Battlefront and how you guys are running the game. I know the system requirements are just bad in my opinion for Battlefront. I mean, just about everyone I know is playing the game just fine. And a lot of the people I know don't have the best PCs in the world. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section down below and as always guys have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out